Did you know this was almost the first Minecraft logo, but it never became official? In this video, I'm gonna talk about the full history of Minecraft's logo from this prototype to the one we know today. If you're new here, I'm Tyler, AKA Tylee Talk, and on this channel, I design, redesign, and critique logos. So if that's something you're into, then feel free to subscribe. So let's get right into it. The year is 2009. Game developer Marcus Notch Person created the first ever base Minecraft game in a single weekend in May. Hayden Scott Barron was also hired that year to be an artist for the game. And he created this logo. The logo featured land and sky, much like the game itself, but he went with a more curved sans serif font. And while the logo was never officially used in the game, I do like that he brought in the sky and land element from the game for this logo. Now the first official Minecraft logo was also created in 2009. It looks more similar to the one we know today with the gray blocky font, and it's actually made up of the actual blocks within the game. But while I appreciate that the logo actually uses elements from the game, I really think that this logo looks very dated, which is why they changed it to this one in 2011. This time the letters are thicker and the pattern itself is a little more stylized. Taking it a step further, a face was actually added into the A that matches the face of a creeper in the game. I think this logo is definitely the best of the three we've talked about so far. It's clean, it's bold, and it still brings that in-game element to the logo. Lastly, in 2012, it was changed to this one, which added a little bit of a bigger black stroke to the whole logo, and it made the cracks within the logo a little less harsh. And this is the logo that is still being used today. I do really like their current logo, but I also like the idea of including the land and the sky and maybe even some other elements like mountains or lakes into the logo itself. The original concept logo was much brighter than the one today and I think those colors really grab your attention more. I'm not saying that they should necessarily change it because I do like the current logo, but it would be cool to see some of those more colors and in-game elements in the logo again. Well, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to give it a like and subscribe and let me know in the comments which version of the Minecraft logo you prefer.